hey guys welcome back to my channel my name is love i'm the bloody great girl if you're new please subscribe and if you're already subscribed thank you for coming back i'm sure you're going to like this video so please give it a thumbs up and i'm open to answering your questions so please ask me questions my mission is to help women heal naturally and forever from fibroids and other uterine illnesses or diseases and my dream is to make sure that the knowledge that you gain from my videos or from your contact with me is generational so you can pass it on to your daughters welcome back again to my channel today is a wonderful day it's a day two of my period and before I started this video, I had another video which I made, which you will find in the description or I'm going to put it in any of these places. Um, today is like my second day of trying to be serious with YouTube as it pertains to fibroids and fibroid shrinkage and period issues and health. Basically everything that I already do on my Instagram, which is of the same name, Bloody Great Girl, hoping that I've not changed the name of my channel here on YouTube or on instagram so yeah i'm basically like trying to be more on youtube so before i started this video the last time i was talking about um the pad that i was using as day to day two of my period and like if you've been following my channel on instagram you would already know that i'm one of those people that you would call friends of god i have painless period i have a very very regular cycle I have a simple three day period and I can actually predict like using the app because it's very regular. And if you follow me more, you get to know why and how I came about this. So yeah, I used to be five days for the most part of my life, but then you know how science works. So I ensured that I, it was like three days and I've never experienced period pain all of my life. So nor cramps or any of those um, other negative things that come with periods. The only time that I really experienced um, period issues was when I was having fibroids. So it was really, really heavy, heavy, heavy flow that would last for like seven days. And when it got to 10 days was when I got really alarmed and I went to the hospital. And that's when the doctors administered something very, very harmful to me. And it almost claimed my life which is something that I've been campaigning against. So if you've been following me on Instagram, you will have learned already that um, I don't support or promote or encourage going back to the doctors if you have um, a problem with your uh, period and having the doctors give you, should I rephrase, having the doctors give you um, a pill to stop your period or reduce your period or any of those so <laughs> whatever it is i'm not going to call the name here i'm going to make another video and put it in the description when i do another video about all of this medication that claim to help you but are actually going to cause you more and more uterine diseases and illnesses so that you continue this cycle of going back to the doctor to get sicker so please, I'm not one of those theorists that believe that the doctor's intention is to make you sick, but based on um, reproductive health, I don't think science has gotten to that point where they really care enough to produce medication that has no harmful side effects for women. And I don't think most doctors care enough, most, I don't mean all, care enough to educate women or to tell them these are the side effects of this thing that i'm giving you they just give it to you like they've given it to every other person of regardless of your um status regard regardless of who you are regardless of your peculiarity okay the boss has moved so in my case when i went to visit i'm i don't know if i should say this on tv I've never had sex before. I'm a virgin. I'm I'm not gonna answer for the questions on that. And I, I hope to have kids in the future. 
However, the medication, even after I gave them all of this information, the medication that I was given was seriously detrimental to my health. And it was something that they gave to women who had a totally different profile from mine. And I'm gonna say this in another video so I don't focus too much on that here. Welcome back to this video. I've spoken already so long and this is one of those videos that some people just skip, skip, skip and there'll be, there's gonna be someone in the comments who just says, skip to this to see where she talks about this. Okay, guys, so today I'm gonna to talk about something that improves blood vessel function during your period and your overall cardiovascular health. If you've been on my program before, you would notice that I'm not someone who just attacks that particular issue. The entire body is interconnected, so I don't believe that there is this one thing that you take that goes straight to work on one particular place in your body. I just believe that everything that you consume, it has this whole effect overall, all around your body. So, sorry, cars are passing by. Let's get right to it. <laughs> I know, right? You might have your own way of thinking about it. I know there's some people who are experts watching this video now, but really, if it works for me, you can't argue with results. And that's what I want you to really understand. So this thing that I take is um, something that's going to be very beneficial for you your period and you can take it in different ways and enjoy it in so many ways it has vitamin c it has flavonoids and it's got lemonoids now you're wondering what are these things flavonoids improve blood vessel functions and lemonoids have anti-inflammatory effects and they also contain antioxidants vitamin c helps to reduce inflammation and also um, helps with blood vessel flexibility it's actually overall generally very very helpful for you for your health for your hormones for your skin for your overall well-being so i just woke up so practically you're going to watch me take this in the morning of my period so basically you can take it in diverse ways what you can do is you can take this if you wash it thoroughly according to what you feel thorough washing is if you wash it thoroughly you can also include the skin. So there are different ways that you can take it. First of all, you might just want to put a slice. If you know what to do with the rest, maybe in the freezer, but I just want to put a slice or two in your glass and add some water and just drink it for the day or in the morning. And then you drink again in the evening as you wish. Second thing that I do is I, um, oh, no, I don't want to show the brand of my glass, of my cup. So the second thing that I do is I cut this into pieces with the skin sometimes. So I cut this into chunks and pieces and put it inside here. Sometimes the seeds go with them, but the seeds really just go sit at the bottom. And then I put them here. So there's so many cars passing by. The third way that I can have them sometimes is I cut them in halves and I squeeze into a glass and I squeeze, 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 and I add some water and I drink. So one thing I did recently that I did two days ago was that I had it with my sparkly water. So you can put your lemon and your sparkly water together and you drink. I don't really think there's anything special that it does. It's just the different flavors. This one has a pH of 5.2, so pretty much slightly acidic, while my water has a pH of um, 7. 0.5 so i don't really think there's anything special it does it just really just gives me like a different flavor and it's just something i really just recently started and i enjoyed it hey guys i'm back i was away for about two hours and within that moment i made my lemon juice and i took the remaining lemon and i applied it on my face Do not ever do this on your bed, guys. I didn't do it on my bed. I just did that so you guys will see. So here's my um, lemon juice, which I mixed with sparkling water and I'm drinking, not for any special effect, just because I just wanted to try the taste. And I'll see why people like to mix their sparkling water 
with lemon. One thing you should be mindful of when you're consuming lemons is don't do this every day. If you've bought my fiber shrinkage menu, you would see where I also mentioned that don't take it every day. Not that it's bad, it's just that there are some effects like it might not be good for your teeth or it might not be good for your kidney. It might be too acidic. So it's just something I want you to try once in a while. See if you like it, see how your body reacts. Your body is always speaking to you. You always need to pay attention. You always need to listen. When I tell people that I can smell something that is not going to be good for my body and there's, there's a way that if I apply something, because I, when I get a new body cream, for example, back then when I get a new body cream and I apply it on my legs, I always start with my legs. I feel something on my back and I just somehow, I just know that I don't like this. This is not going to be good for me. So I just toss it in the trash or I give it away. So your body's always speaking to you and you need to have different ways to understand or to listen to your body speaking to you. When your health is improving, you will know there are signs just the same way when your health is getting worse, there are signs. So the vitamin C in lemon can also reduce menstrual cramps and it can boost your immunity and it can also improve your mood. Lemon just has like, this whole place smells so lemony. Lemons just have like this very calming effect on you. That's if you like it and you're not allergic. Some people are allergic to um, citrus. So lemon just has this calming, relaxing effect. Like when you're buying air freshener, you see that there's also lemon flavor. Most of your dishwashing liquids have lemon flavor. So I ran out of memory. But within the two hours I was away, I was charging my battery and I ate, I had my breakfast. I should make a separate video on how I, on a full three day of my period, so you guys see how I live my life during my period and how fun it is. Lemon in water increases your appetite for um, water and it just makes you want to drink more. And hydration is very important for your period. So to round up, it reduces cramps. It boosts immunity, it helps you feel good, it's anti-inflammatory, and try not to take it every day. Try to monitor your body's response, so start with a small amount, see how your body reacts to it. And remember, don't use the magic potion syndrome. Don't say, oh, bloody great girl said I should take it and it's going to be all right. No, nature is going to be faithful to you if you're faithful to nature. It's not something that you just take. Oh, this is gonna be all right. And also don't take anything that I stay in isolation. Remember, you have to balance it with a healthy lifestyle. Thank you so much for watching. Bloodily yours, bloody great call. Period. Always remember, I wrote it's not the disease, it's the messenger. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment. I'm happy to respond. Also remember that you can book a one-on-one -on -one root cause consultation with me. And you can also buy me coffee. <laughs> And also, please remember that there's a free book that you can grab and you can also get my book, The Fibroids Shrinkage Menu, Results in 90 Days. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video. Bye-bye. Take care of yourself. Everybody heals itself, so do the right thing. Bye.